Greetings fellow patricians, Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Remold Lycan Legion. Episode 15, Public Bathhouse. Here comes another Balkans trade. And Doris has inspired traits, so that's perfect. I think all the ducks we didn't want got sold, so I'm not worried about that. We have all this kibble that we could part with. Uh, let's see. The insect jelly? Definitely. I don't really need it. We have 127 duck eggs. That's kind of ridiculous. Is there anything I want to buy off of them? Not really. That is regularly the issue, is like... There's a lot I want to sell. Oh, you know what? I'll buy some thrombo fur. It's over- it's super overpriced, but... And some Tyrion. Uh, but, you know, might as well. And I meant to dismiss them, I forgot to. Don't get hit by lightning on your way out. And if you do, it was the gods and not me. Like, Jupiter did it. Don't blame me. Oh, but you're having a real hard time getting through that one cape. Like, I've checked, checked, um, or, no, no, Ray's wearing one. Okay, okay. I was wondering about that. I was like, how are we still making the same cape? This is like day six. But no, it's multiple capes. That makes a bit more sense. So with the double frames and stairs, we got access to um, these like larger, more innate entryways, which I can um, update buildings in the future. Uh, if polling was working, there is a poll for um, city beautification, which would include introducing, you know, curbs and and ornate doors and stuff like that, but, uh... Well, that's gonna have to wait until polling works. So the Pantheon has almost enough impressiveness. It should be about 120. It's at 116. Um... So I think I'm gonna spruce it up a little bit with some, um, potted plants. I'll stick them around the, uh, the southern torches. I forgot, did plant, potted plants, they have quality modifiers, right? Yeah. So, uh, the best constructor should be the one to do them. Where are you going with those marble? How are you, you're not out of marble blocks. Someone's hauling them. Ooh, one's a masterwork. And there's a Sardinalia opportunity. So tomorrow morning, I'll have everyone convene for Sardinalia and hope that uh, I don't make the gods angry. I might want to have Bebo... Um, uh, quickly interrupt what she was currently doing to sow some flowers in here. Oh, someone doesn't want us celebrating Saturnalia. Are the mechanical differences between a pawn being a slave versus not? Um, yes, quite. I have an entire uh, YouTube video about RimWorld slavery if you are uh, interested. Well, we have invaders, but um, but they're preparing a while, so they're not quite at our gates yet. So you have four, three, and two. Do we have any of the great bows yet? No. Of course, of course, Elba hasn't finished that. <laughs> Why would he, right?
Oh, they're stealing my stuff. Yeah, it's not gonna work for me, dudes. It's gonna be hard to chase them. Oh yeah, of course they do that. Well, that's what we get for having a trade spot out, out of town. It opens us up to theft. I'll try to chase that one down once, um... Once the fire is not a thing. Who are we missing on the front lines here? Ray, could you go... You don't firefight? No, you do firefight. Stop, drop, and roll. I don't want to leave Maxis there, but... Lolapore is the only one holding the door at the moment. Okay, Rogi, you are free now. Maxis went down, that doesn't surprise me. They're gonna try to kidnap, which will stop. And then the one we shot is like slowly bleeding out. I don't even know if they're gonna make it out, to be honest. Okay, yeah, they're fleeing. Lolapore, you're doing okay. Maxis, you were just frail and didn't have a lot of pain tolerance. Alright, that one's trying to, uh, kidnap, so focus fire. Down he goes, little port, you're just fine. And then this one is, like, trying to, uh, dig a path out, so we'll kill Korash quickly. Uh, anyone... Bleeding too quickly. No, no one's bleeding critically. Okay, another one goes down. So we have an undergrounder shaman here. And... Only bruises and burns. Okay, so capture. Tend. And rescue. Not too bad. And then the one over here. Ah, uh, they made it out. I thought they were gonna uh, drop from blood loss, but they stole. No, no, ha! Huh? They did not. Uh, Scipio. I have uh, plans for them. <laughs> Hang on, Kenius. There we go. Alright, Scipio, don't let them die, because uh, they need to die in a way that I see fit. Yoink! Oh, this one's dead in two seconds? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, like, help that. And then this one is a Night Owl Miner Crafter. Okay. Rogi, would you be so kind as to grab that thermo first? So the only thing we actually lost there was, uh, silver. And I have a lot of silver, so... I mean, I would have preferred not to lose it, but it's not really going to be missed all that much. Oh, right. Lilipore, you're still uh, wounded. Bebo, go... Well, maybe those were trials from the gods. Making sure that I was, uh... You know, worshipping them properly.
All right. Well, here we go. As soon as uh, Honav can be moved, I plan on executing them in the Pantheon as a way to establish uh, our dedication towards the gods again. Which is good timing, considering there is an eclipse. So clearly uh, the gods are demanding some sacrifice. Oh, and we're getting diseased. And we have vagabonds asking for aid. Well, if there was ever a sign that they are actually like Mercury in disguise as messengers from the gods, it would be... Uh, this would be it. Oh yeah, it's they're really landing and hard, huh? So Rogi got an infection, and Canius got an infection, and uh, I can offer them both bed rest. Meant to have Scipia tend them immediately, though. Here we go. And Scipia, while you're up, we'll bring the herbal meds to the people asking for medicine. So we already updated the triclinium. So we're just building new roads and consecrate the Pantheon. Pretty reasonable goals. Two in the morning. Seems like a plenty fine time for me. We publicly executed the invader in the name of the gods. Bebo, I'm gonna have you haul his corpse away. And now we're ready to have our sudden alia in earnest. So come morning time, when everyone's up, we'll begin sudden up. Oh! I think the gods want us to sacrifice an animal as well. Well then. We will fill our bellies full of mad muffalo. That sounds funny. I have enough pews. That's what I was worried about. Now we do have a few slaves who are sick, but they're given enough bed rest that it should be okay. And then the other advantage of the executions is the slaves know not to act up. They know what happens when they act up. So hopefully it gives me a little bit of time before their attempted rebellions or anything like that. And with the new art, the shape of the deities in the Pantheon, like this Pantheon is very pretty. And it was a good Saturnalia. Awesome. Consecrated properly, I would say. I think the gods are pleased. So the project that I'm trying to wrap up is the build new roads, which we're very close to being to have done. And then I'm going to need to cut a whole lot of stone, because I'm basically out of stone. And then once we cut the new stone, um, I'll set up a public uh, bathhouse. So that Maxis and Ray have, have a place to, uh, to wash up 
because they don't have private bathrooms. I think what I'm gonna do here is great bows make until we have, let's say four and make the quality excellent plus. Yeah, the rituals are very loud. Oh, good. Bebo has a go frenzy. That's going to be really helpful hauling those dead bodies. Sean, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the cheer. Medical emergency. Oh, that doesn't look good. Doris. Reach health. Scipia. Tend. That's not tending. No. Don't consume a meal. Uh, let's see. I don't know if they're going to survive, but we'll see. I'll let that one slip. Maybe with the preach health and tending at max quality, it will catch back up. It's crazy how Canis, Canius and Rogi have like, they, I think they were being tended roughly at the same time. The same timers, and like one completely fell behind the other. Oh, Rogi hiding in room. Uh, well, at least you're over your sickness, so that's fine. Oh no, we're catching up. No, it wasn't. It wasn't kidney damage. It was probably just out of bed too long. Alright, animals. For now, I am going to say the bull is going to move in with the horses. Because I don't think we need much more milk until we have a, a the ability to process it. Yep, alright. So, immunity is outpacing infection by like 1% here. So, cutting it a little close. But immune. 98%. I'm glad I jumped on that uh, when I did. Because otherwise that was uh, a fatal infection. But blessed by the gods, we survived. Alright, looks to me like uh, we are going to need to do some hunting. So I'm going to queue up two doe. And once the roads are done, I'll update the goal for the bathhouse. Or I'll just, I'll type it up now. Two more granite, and it's done. Okay, so we got the new routes. Glorious. 
I think I want to place the bathhouse here. It's going to be very modest. It's just going to be a uh, a very simple bathhouse. Not a fancy one at all. Um, and I'm placing it there because it's going to be very close to the triclinium, which is important. And also the main entryway. So that uh, any, any travelers or anything like that can uh, easily um, use it. So something... Yeah, you know, like this dimension. And it's not going to be fancy at all. Hmm. The reason for the bathtubs is it can you'll be able to wash up more effectively than without. That's the only reason for it. Actually, I don't want archways there. Uh, let's just go ahead with what looks to be kind of an open window. Three latrines should be enough. This isn't uh, this isn't one designed for slaves, so I don't really need to worry about um, slaves using the area anyway. It's going to be guests and colonists only. So a lot more granite blocks are going to need to be cut for this to be done. Azure, thank you for the uh, the sub. Wow, my luck in getting crossbows that are like worth using. Huh. Still waiting. Also need to do the plumbing for this, and probably to keep the um, the actual room heated, because nobody's gonna want to take it to go in there if it's frigid. So let's set up the plumbing for it. We have a radiator there, toilets here, bathtubs there. I also suppose it wouldn't be terrible to offer up a sink, too. Because you're not going to be able to drink, like, bath water. Ooh. Hey, a great bow. Finally. One. There we go. And a sink. These three darker tiles in the Pantheon? Well, it's snowing, so they'll, they'll not stay that way. Alright, polling. Are you working yet? My polling so software that I used was working up until like five minutes before the stream, and it hasn't worked since. I feel personally targeted, maybe? <laughs> it's like, I can't help but to feel a little like... It's trying to mess with me specifically. So these are not for slaves. It's unisex, and there is no occupancy check. And that's about right. Nope, 
Max is, is immediately just like, oh, finally, first bath since I arrived here. Because he's not had access to anything. And as you can see, there is not a, um, there's no penalty for public bathrooms. In ancient Rome, they had public bathrooms and nobody had feelings one way or another about it. Just the way it, this, it was the culture at the time. And the same is true here. Public, public bathrooms are not an issue. I mean, hell, the original Olympics? Mm, there was not even clothing. That's all... Do ghost walls allow free movement? No, but ghost doors do. So there's ghost doors, which um, are invisible doors, and ghost walls, which are invisible walls. But otherwise, they work the same as walls and doors. So, for instance, there's ghost doors here, 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 and here. In fact, I'll double-click and highlight all the ghost doors. So these are all the ghost doors in the colony. So you can see these are the entry points into the buildings. Uh, Rogi, that is absolutely not for slaves. There it is, public bathroom. Wow, everyone's jumping in. Oh, whatever. If they're happy doing it, I don't really care. Oh, how'd you die? You got warged. Okay. Oh, and you got warged. Wow, this warg is wasteful. It keeps killing Doe and then just like moving on to the next corpse. So the public bathroom is now done. Um, the other thing I was considering is a shared public domus. So Maxis and Ray don't have... Uh, they're never going to get their individual like bedrooms like the founders do. That is a privilege that only the founders will uh, be able to be offered. But they could get their own sort of slightly upgraded barracks. And that was that was a one such building that I was going to do. And taking a look at the um, at the layout here, I might place it here just because it seems to be a pretty functionally good place for it. Uh, but I would want to build it oversized so that there's plenty of room for future joiners. Essentially, build it for um, uh, with a lot of a lot of space so that we can grow into it as the uh, the community grows. So that is the next goal. Build a patrician domus. We're gonna need to quarry up even more stone and I'm planning on having it be built out of granite. The marble is going to be reserved for kind of the upper tier, which is our four founders. And then, um, you know, if we're building insula, which are like uh, villas uh, for the villas later on. Oh, we're doing a, a fair bit of quarrying. This quarry is really helping out. And our raw meat is pretty good because we have animals that just keep trying to join us, which is super weird. So the layout of this building, let's see. Uh, that would work for me. Meaning that we're gonna want like a, just a simple flagstone. Maybe I'll expand this out to be more rectangular. And in fact, we could eventually have like flowers or something exotic growing there. So we'll get the flagstone built there and then I'll start building the public domus in this area.
I think that will work. I like the layout. I think in this case, I'm going to allow the marble flagstone and marble tiles. No, maybe not marble tiles. Man, no, I take that back. Uh, I want it differentiated from the granite flagstone, but I don't know what other kind of... I think for now, I'll just do packed dirt. And then granite tiles inside. It's not supposed to look nicer, so I won't have it look nicer. Hey, would you kindly watch? Thank you for the resub. Cheers. Oh, goodness. What are we up to? Six? Yeah. I'm going to need to, like, modify this scenario to not have so much ambrosia because I just, it's getting ridiculous. This is a blessed forest, clearly. Is this a uh, front porch? It is indeed. Yeah. So it's not quite an insula. So in ancient Rome, you had uh, a bunch of different concepts of um, housing. Um, insula would be like a villa. Very fancy, usually with um, places for dining and reception and partying. Uh, it was more grand. And then you had domus, which were smaller but still wealthier domiciles. Um, and we are not... I'm not really planning on having any uh, housing that are cheaper than that. In ancient Rome, a lot of the slaves actually just slept in, like, the doorways of their master's uh, bedrooms and the like. So they actually didn't have their own uh, quarters. But I included their own quarters here, uh, just because it'd be weird if they were sleeping on the floor, like, it would turn into a barracks. It doesn't really work with the RimWorld mechanics at all. So, this isn't supposed to be a perfect replication of, like, the caste and class system of ancient Rome, but something similar enough that it's identifiable, if you will. Let's slave. Go empty the septic tank. And don't leave there until it is all loaded up. That's weird. I can't seem to fill the other composters. All right, well, you're off the hook then by technicality. Darius has tattered apparel. Uh, don't I have a cape? Yeah, here's a cape. And then... I think I should have shirt and pants elsewhere, too, that he can wear. Yep, they're somewhere in the stockpile. There's the pants, there's a the shirt. You found them. With the winter nearly over, we're going to have a lot more meat spoilage. So we'll have to do periodic hunting to be able to top up our meat quantity. Well, that's a heck of a name. I mean, not Octavia. That's a straightforward name. Ahenobarbus? Ahenobarbus? You're a tortured artist cannibal. <laughs> Very neurotic. Boy, are you... I'm glad you aren't visiting me. Is all I'm going to say. I'm glad you're visiting the area and passing through.
I don't have uh, plumbing near here. How much iron do I have? I might be... I'm pretty low on iron, so I'm, I'm probably going to need to go and do some iron mining. Because in order to run the plumbing for this area... I need to run... Well, I guess I could have ran it from up there, but that's fine. I'll start mining this iron. And it's spring! Is uh, jerky researchable or only buyable? It is locked behind Senator's favor. So, again, to cover that, Toga's temperature control, which is like um, more higher efficient passive coolers and heaters, uh, meat drying, which is jerky, mosaics, thermobath, uh, drama and comedy, shields, legionary, armor, weapons, and centurion armor, scorpions, Beacons, bronze working, crafting bench, cement making, wood fired crematorium, terrium production, and road building are all locked behind um, Senator's favor. In fact, um, these last three are Central Republic's favor, Western Republic's favor, and Eastern Republic's favor. So the way that works is once you have gained the favor of all of these five senators, you gain a universal bonus um, unlocking their faction. Would public coolers work for a freezer? No, uh, it never does. Public coolers cannot... Uh, uh, the passive coolers are... Um, only get down to like 50 Fahrenheit, which is refrigerated, but not frozen. It's it's not even really refrigerated. It's just cooler. Well, this is um, actually getting fast uh, done faster than I thought it would be. Because of that quarry that we have. That quarry has really proved to be quite useful. And I think for this bedroom, because it's a bedroom, I don't intend to have it illuminated in the inside. Can senators die? Yes. And if they they die, they get replaced. Someone takes their, their role. I'm actually going to change the design a little bit. So it, it uh, feels more like a, a porch or patio. Opening it up. That'll look a little bit better. Oh, Elba. You have Inspired Taming again? Hmm. Bison, I guess? It's probably about to go to sleep. Though. Because it's... Yep, yep, never mind. It was 9 p.m. Bedtime for bison. All right, well, that bedroom is done. So I'm going to move Ray and Maxis's beds in there. And then I also wanted to offer them up uh, end tables. I don't even have end tables for our own bedrooms yet. So 
We'll get end tables in our own bedrooms too. More projects for Daris. Right, let's see. Polling. Do you work? Probably not, right? So I'm just going to have to pick the next project. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits, thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Lycan. <laughs>